welcome to our today's class and our today's topic uh, human ear structure and function from chapter number 12 study of sound in my previous lecture i explained you the structure of the human ear and today we will uh, i will explain the structure as well as function of the human ear so students will go to our textbook so open uh, your textbook at page number 135 Here you can see the structure of the human ear diagram of the structure of the human ear. Okay, so we know very well uh, the ear is a very important sensory organ, and using this ear we are able to hear the sound. And we know when a sound is produced through any uh, source, then because of the vibration of the air particle. we are able to hear that particular sound so let's we have overview of the structure of the human ear so in human ear there are the three parts the outer ear middle ear and inner ear outer ear middle ear and inner ear so outer ear means this structure this structure is a out uh, here yeah, outer ear having the two organs first one is a pinna what is a pinna so this part this part is a pinna that means the outer part of our ear is a pinna this pinna collect the sound waves okay this pinna this outermost organ collect the sound waves and also uh, the shape of this outer ear is like this just uh, see the shape of this pinna is like this okay and again uh, one uh, organ is your auditory canal auditory canal auditory canal means just like a tube auditory canal means just like a tube the shape of this outer ear is like this this is called the pinna and this is the auditory canal canal is like a tube when the pinna collect the sound waves that sound waves enters into the ear into the middle ear and inner ear through this canal so this is called the auditory canal clear then from the outer ear the sound waves enters in the middle ear and here the one membrane we have one membrane like this this is a thin Uh, structure thin membrane and uh, when the sound waves falls on this membrane then this vibrate this membrane vibrate okay and because of the vibration here uh, sound waves when uh, in the sound wave there are a compression and rarefaction medium when the compression occurs then this membrane turns like this this membrane move like this and when the uh, rarefaction medium comes then this membrane moves as inside the outer ear inside the outer ear clear so uh, because of the uh, compression and rarefaction this uh, ear drum this ear drum this membrane vibrate and because of the vibration Uh, when these uh, are when the sound waves enter into the middle ear and middle ear there are three bones middle ear having the three bones m r s what is the full form of m we have three bones namely malus and for malus then uh, incus and as for steps so these are the three bones and we know in our whole body the smallest bone the smallest bone is present inside the ear and this is the smallest bone stepper is the smallest bone and because of the vibration of this ear drum these bones vibrates and again the sound waves enter in the inner ear and inner ear there is a snail like structure there is a snail like structure clear and uh, here uh, one a specific type of fluid inside this structure this is called the cochlea 
then so students uh, open your textbook and see in the uh, in your textbook we will go through our textbook and uh, again uh, understand the uh, what is the function of the outer ear middle ear and inner ear again clear again i repeat it in outer ear there are two organs pinna and auditory canal pinna this is the outer part of our ear the this outer part accept the sound wave then this sound wave go through this canal this is called the auditory canal here on the ear drum on the thin membrane that vibrate when this thin membrane vibrate then uh, the in the middle part in the middle ear there are the three bones small bones uh, m r s m for malus uh, that incus and then steps steps is the smallest bone in our whole body okay smallest bone is this and these bones vibrates then sound waves enter through this structure this is a snail like structure and uh, one specific type of special type of fluid inside this structure named cochlea and when the cochlea uh, uh, exit this sound waves and vibrate and from this cochlea these sound waves turn into the electrical signal and electrical signal reaches Uh, up to the bone, up to sorry, up to our brain, and brain identify the sound. Which type of sound you heard? Clear. So this is the function of our ear. Again, I repeat, we will go through our textbook. Outer ear or pinna. The outer ear collect the sound wave. Outer ear. This outer ear collect the sound waves. Outer ear collect the sound waves, and uh, the ear. Sound waves and passes them through a tube to a cavity in the middle ear, and this sound wave passes through this tube. Uh, it's a peculiar funnel-like shape. This is a funnel-like shape, and helps to collect and pass sound into the middle ear. Through this uh, channel, through through this channel, the sound waves enters in the middle ear. There is a then second heading is middle ear. There is a thin membrane in a cavity in the middle ear, also called the ear drum. Here, ear drum. This is an ear drum. Okay. Then sound waves enter through this auditory canal. Then enter up to the uh, this ear drum. Ear drum is a thin like uh, membrane, thin membrane. And when the compression in a sound waves reaches the ear drum, the pressure outside. it increases when pressure increases then this membrane moves like this that means if pressure increases then these uh, move like this and when the rare uh, rarefaction uh, reason comes then this membrane moves like this that means vibration occurs in out in out in this way the vibration occurs in this ear drum and then Uh, the opposite happens when the rare fraction reaches there the pressure outside decreases and membrane gets pulled out or pulled outwards so the sound waves causes the vibration of the membrane because of this vibration because of the vibration uh, this sound waves then this sound waves enter in the inner ear and the auditory nerves collects the inner ear to the brain inner ear to the brain these nerves connect to the brain then the inner ear has a structure resembling the shell of the shell of a snail this snail like structure and this is called the cochlea it is also called the cochlea the cochlea receive the vibration coming from the membrane This cochlea receives the vibration coming from the membrane and convert it. And one thing again, this having the special type of fluid inside it. Okay, and uh, this uh, the sound wave convert into the electrical signal by this cochlea. And then the uh, convert convert them into the electrical signals which are sent to the brain through the nerves, through the nerves, and the the brain analyze these signals and we can identify our brain identify which type of sound you heard 
the sound is uh, of any instruments or your friend or etc okay so these are uh, the structure and the working of the uh, human ear i hope you understood this lecture student rest we will see in our next lecture thank you very much